students once more here at Santa College Online. Welcome back. And today we're talking about the future perfect. All right, we already discussed the present perfect, the past perfect, and now it's time to talk about the future, right? So we usually use the future perfect to project ourselves into the future and look back at an action that will be completed, right? So let's take a look at some examples here, okay? So by the time you read this, I will have left. However, I'm still here, but you understood it, right? So she will have finished. Take a look that have is not conjugated, it's not has, because it's future. So it's the same for everybody. She will have, we will have, you will have, okay? She will have finished. Third column, remember when we saw present perfect? There are a lot of new verbs to remember. Third column, okay? Finished, left, given, eaten, gone, perfect. She will have finished her homework by this time next week, okay? So we project ourselves into the future and we look back at an action that is already completed by then, all right? The negative is pretty easy. You already know how to use will plus not. So that's the same thing, right? We just add not after will. So I will not, I won't, okay? Let's say I will not have left. So by the time you read this, I will not have left. I will be still standing here, okay? So I won't have left by the time you finish reading this sentence. All right, she will not or won't, let's use won't now. She won't have finished her homework by this time next week, okay? So by this time next week, she will still have to do her homework because it won't be done, all right? So this action won't be completed by this time next week. Just like when you finish reading this, I will not have left. I will be still here, okay? So let's take a look at the questions in the future perfect. Will you have eaten when I pick you up? So eaten, third column, remember that. I will pick you up, okay, future. Will you have eaten by then? All right, will you have done this action, okay, by the time I pick you up? Great. Won't they have arrived by five? Okay, now this is new, right? A negative question. All right, so won't, will not, right? I can start that question with won't, no problem. Won't they have arrived by five? Okay, very good. And how to answer that? Will you have eaten when I pick you up? Yes. To make it short, I will. Or no, I won't. There you go. Won't they have arrived by five? Yes, they will. Remember if it was he, she, it, same thing. Yes, they will. Or no, they won't. Okay. All right, guys, so that's how you use the future perfect, all right? So be careful, check again, present perfect and the future with will as well, okay? Do the exercises, come back, if necessary, do some more exercises, more research, okay? And stay tuned for more. Thank you so much, and as usual, I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.